Bay Packers. This is the Monday night game at the Shit Bomb Raiders. And let's see. Matt LaFleur's tears have dried up by now, I think, after the Lions' absolute day rate. Man, that was such a glorious... What an embarrassment for the Green Bay Packers and their fans and their players. That whole team looked like a bunch of crybabies. Coaches pouting in the press conference. It was glorious as a Lions fan to watch that, especially after, dude, Jordan Love's comments about being the um, Vikings and Bears' father on Father's Day or whatever, like, just stealing... Uh, Everything from Aaron Rodgers that he did to us for 20 years. That kid sucks. I hope his career sucks. Green Bay sucks. With that said, I'll just jump into it real quick. I do like Green Bay in this game to cover. Uh, not high confidence. I, I just don't think they're that good. Jordan Love is kind of a wild card. I've, I don't really have an opinion on his skill set. I hate him, but I don't know how good he is yet. Who wants to jump in next? Because I don't know what to say on this game. I will not be betting this, but how do you really feel I hate Green Bay. The only thing I hate worse than really really Justin Fields and the shitty Bears I hate worse, but Green Bay's up there. Uh, so it's Jimmy J. Just for the record, it looks like Jimmy J. will be the starter this week. Uh, un- un- unfortunately, since as Tasty knows, I'm rooting for the Aiden O'Connell era to start. I love the student career, so I was hoping there's going to be another start from here. But <clears throat> it's a good spot for Green They're Bay. Both better than Jordan Love for the record. It's a good spot for Green Bay. Again, you know, four, day, four days extra rest here, three days extra rest, the Thursday night game or the Monday night game. You know, it's been festering. The Raiders are kind of like this whole Chandler Jones thing is a disaster. Like the organization just to complete this array right now. Jacobs hasn't looked great. And I don't know that Jimmy G, even at full strength, is like so great. He's barely used Renfro. I mean, he's basically just starting Jacoby Myers and like bombed to Devontae Adams. By the way, not a horrible idea, bombing at Devontae Adams. You know what? I'll say Devontae Adams touchdown is a good prop bet. Revenge spot against Green Bay. There's there's there the go. official bet for the game. Not a bad bet. Good prop bet. Big tasty sports. Green Gotta Bay love some games. revenge. Hey, I hate the pack. I hate the Packers more than I hate the Bears. So I'm I'm even further gone than you are when it comes to the Packers. But I, man, this is a really tough one for me. Green Bay actually has a lot of injuries right now, both on the offensive line and in the defense. So it'll be interesting to see who plays this week. Garoppolo should be back. I think I think Vegas's offense is decent, even though their offensive line isn't great. But I know Lou, you talked about you know there not being a ton of weapons, and Jacobs hasn't looked good, but. It's all. I'm not saying they're they're like Miami and how good they are, but if you've got two really good receivers, I feel like that's enough to get it done on offense. My problem here is I don't think Vegas is going to get pressure on Jordan Love, and I think that's what you need to do is get pressure on Jordan Love. If they if they had if they could get pressure, I would take the points here with Vegas. But I I think this is probably about right, and so this will be a pass for me. I I am interested in the over though. I, I think both of these teams could struggle to stop the other one. 